Welcome back everybody! In the previous lessons we got acquainted with a few new physical feelings and a few new movements in preparation of what we have to do for the first exercise on a piano. Now usually the first exercise on a piano is a five finger exercise. Uh, we will apply what we learned in the previous lessons on a five finger exercise. So again Come a little closer and I'll show you. So, here we are with a nice bird's eye view of the piano. Now, first of all, make sure that you're sitting quite central to the keyboard. I like to sit in correspondence to the D above middle C. This guy here is middle C. as the D above. And if you trace a line from middle D, it goes straight to my belly button and that's where I like to be quite central now for your five finger exercise I'd like you to place one finger over each key from middle C to the next G so thumb finger one on C index finger two on D middle finger finger three on E, ring finger, finger 4, on F, a little pinky, finger 5, on G. Just like that. Let your fingertip touch the surface of the key lightly. The shoulder now is supporting the weight of the arm. The shoulder is keeping the arm and the hand up so that I just lightly touch the surface of the keys. This is your five finger position for five finger exercises. And here we are. Now you're looking at my right hand from the lower end of the piano. So this is middle C going up to G. Okay? I'm going to show you a few movements that I'd like you to use when you play your five fingers exercises. Because it's quite easy to get it wrong and we want to establish good technique right from the start. So, you want to play a C. Now, remember what we said, drop your finger. Just drop. If you want, you can raise the finger a little bit like I did, or you can just drop it from touching. Remember? Remember the previous lesson? Drop from half an inch. Yeah? Or you can just drop from touching, from barely touching. Okay, now now comes the new bit of information. What we don't want is for sounds to overlap like this. We want one note after the other, nice and clean, with no silence in between. We want this. See? So how do we do that? We do that by sending one impulse to the hand, saying, lower this and raise this in one command. So instead of lifting this thumb and lowering the next finger, which results in silence, you're sending one instruction to the hand from the brain. You're saying, in one go, lower this and lift this. Just like that. So, down with the thumb. You can raise the next finger if you want, a little bit. Now, as finger two goes down, finger one comes up and drop. Let's do that again from the thumb lift finger two 
as finger two comes down, finger one will come up in one impulse. And as the thumb releases the note, it will just touch the surface of the key very lightly. You may continue on the next finger, finger three, lift it a little bit if you like, and as finger three goes down, finger two will come up and go. Now, let me show you finger four here. Yeah, so I'll be playing D and C on the way down. Um, because I'm using the left hand. Finger four will be very hard to lift. It's very much bound to the rest of the hand. So it hasn't got much uh, um, capacity of motion, if you want. So you might want to help it with finger five in lifting, just like that. So, say, we're coming from finger three, finger four comes up a little bit, and then down. As finger four comes down, finger three comes up. So let's repeat. Thumb. Now, finger two, prepare a little bit. Finger two comes down, finger one comes up. In one go. Prepare finger three if you want. Finger three comes down, finger two comes up. Prepare finger four. I'll do it with my left. Prepare finger... F finger three is down. Prepare finger four if you want. And finger four comes down. Finger three comes up. Prepare finger five. Finger five comes down. Finger four comes up. As you see, the fingers that are not playing are just touching the keys. Relax and drop. Now, I will do it with one hand so you will hear the sound of the five notes. I won't swap hands in order to show you finger four and five. I'll just do it with my um, right hand so that we also hear the correct sounds for the one hand. C, D, E, F, G, F again, Once again, without lifting the fingers, this time, dropping from the surface of the key. C, D, E, F, G, on the way down, F, E, D, C. One note after the other, with no silence in between, is achieved by dropping one finger, dropping the next finger and lifting the previous in one go. One command from the brain achieves this double scope. Finger two, ready to go, drop finger two, Lift finger one. In one go. And that is just the basic, is the very A, B, C on which to build the rest of the technique. Um, it is very important though, because we want to build a good technique and solid foundation right from the outset, right at the very start. Uh, remember, 
to play with your fingers arched and remember to play and touch the keys with your fingertip. Remember also to let a little of your, a portion of the weight of your arm do the work. As opposed to, as opposed to just pressing with your fingers. Now, practice your five finger exercises and uh, maybe next time we'll have a look at the dreaded scales. That's all we got time for now. Um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and happy practicing.